What is going on, Internet? Lou here, and I'm going to be giving you guys a brief overview of Elementary OS Luna, kind of my thoughts and opinions on the project, where I see it going, and my experience so far. So right now I'm running a daily build. This is from October 8th of um, Luna, and it's modified to uh, my liking. I've installed all the applications I normally would install, and I'm gonna go over kind of what we see here. So there's a lot of videos right now floating around on uh, YouTube of Luna. So uh, let me go over some basics. So Luna is built off of Ubuntu 12.04, long-term support release. Um, it has its own custom Pantheon shell, which is what's running here uh, right now, which is built on top of GNOME 3. And um, there's a lot of really, really unique features of Luna. So right now, this is your application launcher or application menu. It is called Wing Panel. So you can break things down here by category. You can scroll through them one page at a time, or you can um, do a search like that. We've got our own custom system settings here. Um, we've got a desktop feature, so you've got the dock down here at the bottom, which is called Plank. You can change right now the icon size. You can change it to Not Hide, Intelligent Hide, Auto Hide, and Hide on Maximize. We've got our own custom wallpaper switcher, and of course we can set up um, hot corners here. So the way I have mine set up now is the bottom right is an expose, and the bottom left is the workspace view. So if we go bottom left, you get this kind of neat animation where you can add workspaces. And then if you want to move applications to a specific workspace, you just drag the icon over to that particular workspace, and it will automatically add an additional workspace. If you want to delete, you just move the mouse cursor to the upper left-hand corner of that particular workspace, and you can delete the workspace there. Um, so let's actually go back home here. And so that's Hot Corners, a feature I really, really like. Uh, of course, you've got the calendar here. We've got our Shutdown, Suspend, Hibernate, Logout menu. Um, here is um, kind of our chat menu there. This uh, right here is our sound menu, which is integrated with the custom noise application which is an elementary OS Luna uh, specific application. Actually, it's an elementary specific application. Of course, we have our uh, network, then we have our user accounts, and I've got Dropbox installed. So that's some basics, all right? Um, going back into system settings, um, these are referred to as plugs, okay? Um, and the elementary team is going to have a lot of custom plugs that developers can actually put together themselves. We've got something here to set up your defaults. We already reviewed the desktop plug there. We've got a privacy plug, which is kind of an Ubuntu specific um, feature. And then your other basics, uh, as you can see here, we won't go over them all. Now, why I think elementary OS Luna is um, probably the most unique Linux uh, desktop out there right now and I think it's doing something that Linux desktops should have done a very long time ago, and that's develop a core set of applications. Here we have an elementary specific text editor we, uh, called Scratch. Then of course we've got Noise, which is their uh, music player. Very, very nice. Again, um, what I love about elementary is their focus on the aesthetic. Everything looks great. We've got Geary, which is the mail application. Maya, which is the calendar app. Of course, we have the ever popular Midori browser. Nice, lightweight, fast browser. And there are some other applications actually uh, that aren't here that Elementary still has. So if we go to Elementary OS. The elementaryos.org is the website. Go to the Discover tab. Um, we've got Lingo, Postler, and Dexter, all of which are not here in Luna, but um, are elementary applications. Why is this so important? Um, Linux as a whole 
relies on third-party applications um, for you know the core experience. I think this is you know, and don't get me wrong, there's some really great software, but I think it's so far off the mark. If you really want to be a polished desktop operating system um, that can that can really hold its own, if you want to really take seriously providing a, a specific user experience that Elementary obviously does, they have their custom um, shell that we're running here. Of course, we've got their custom GTK theme. We've got the custom Elementary icon set that's uh, very, very well known. In fact, that's how this whole project started, I believe, was um, with an icon set. And then, of course, they're developing core applications. You know, it reminds me of Mac OS X. You know, Mac has the whole iLife suite, and honestly, when I was a Mac user, I really didn't have to go far beyond what Mac OS came with out of the box to really get all of my needs. I mean, between the iLife suite, iMovie, um, you know, you've got the uh, all the other i applications within uh, Mac OS. I really didn't have to look far for um, you know software to provide you know my day to day needs and to do it really really well. So I think the fact that you know the elementary team is providing us with some of these really great core applications, they're able to provide a specific user experience and it's a great one. Um, really, really like what they're doing here. I think Linux distributions should have, should have done this a really long time ago. Um, they're the only ones that I know of right now that are doing it to the extent that we see here. Um, and I think they're doing a fantastic job. So the operating system looks great. It's built on top of Ubuntu. So you've got the, the huge um, software selection that Ubuntu comes with. Of course, you've also got your um, uh, access to PPAs, so you can get the le latest bleeding edge software of a lot of the stuff that's out there. Um, and all in all, I think it's great. A couple other th uh, other things I've noticed so far with this daily um, build, which is kind of annoying. You can't change the plank theme down here at the bottom. This white theme is terrible. Um, you can't tell when something's running. If you open a VLC here, you'll notice that um, a little orange kind of hue comes up underneath the icon, which is supposed to match uh, whatever color the icon is primarily. With this white um, plank, uh, plank theme here, you can barely tell that that uh, icon indicator is on. And I have a 27 inch LED monitor, so um, it's not like I have a small little tiny um, laptop monitor to look at. I've got a huge bright LCD monitor, LED monitor rather, and it's still hard to see. Um, this is that expose feature. Beautiful smooth animations. Um, so anyway, uh, the playing theme definitely kind of sucks um, as of right now. I'm sure it's just a um, minor glitch. I actually in earlier builds was able to change the playing theme. I prefer the Pantheon theme, um, but that's that. The other thing here is if you notice like the wing panel background is white and you've got the all of these sub menus are also white or gray um, and then you've got this transparent black semi-transparent black um, bar up the, up at the top there and then of course you've got the white or gray theme down here at the bottom for plank I think there's just a disconnect there um, I think they should really make this more of like a transparent gray color as opposed to the black it just doesn't seem to fit with the color scheme of everything else um, and that's something that I really hope that um, that they fix also, what I really like now, of course, if anyone who's been anyone's following kind of the progression of where GNOME is going, you know, Nautilus is being stripped down to basically nothing. Um, this is files. I should have also mentioned files and core applications, which is Elementary's own um, custom, um, you know, uh, file explorer essentially. Um, again, look at these big, beautiful icons. You can do things like, you know, actually add a um, a specific color tag to them. I did it to my Dropbox here. I love the different views that you have here. This column view is very reminiscent to um, uh, Mac OS X. Really, really like that. Um, just really enjoying it. Um, I like files. I think it's going in a good direction. Better, more so than uh, Nautilus is. Again, being stripped of, of features. For some reason, people think that removing features is actually adding features. I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but um, you know, not enjoying it whatsoever. My biggest gripe with Elementary, by far, is the slow releases. 
I mean, I, I think this release has been outstanding now for o- well over a year and a half. Um, Jupiter is really old. Um, I believe actually Jupiter is based on 1004. I could be wrong. Um, let me see. Does it say here? But anyway, um, it just takes these guys forever, and they don't have a release schedule uh, like Ubuntu does. If they would just come out with a release schedule, um, I think I would really enjoy the project a lot more. I'm the kind of guy who likes to have the latest and greatest of things. Um, So the fact that they don't have a release schedule kind of stinks. And again, it feels like Luna's been, you know, I think this was originally supposed to be based off of 1104, and here we are days away from the release of 1210. You know, it just takes forever for these guys to put work out. And, you know, I know their their kind of mentality is it's going to get released when it's ready. But, God, it's taken forever for this to be ready. Um, and if they honestly want to be a relevant desktop, um, they need to have somewhat of a um, reasonable release cycle. Once a year at minimum. I know Ubuntu does every six months. I'm not saying do every six months. Um, but at least once a year. All the other major OSs do usually uh, something once a year I think once a year would be great Um, you know if they want to actually you know build off of long-term support releases which is I'm a huge fan you know bring something you know have a release ready for 1304 Um, but you know just having these huge spans of time in between releases definitely kind of stinks so if they can get some of these aesthetic issues worked out be able to get uh, the theme here for Plank to be changed also get some more options for the dock um, you know, for this, for the sake of the review, I left Plank installed, but I normally run Docky, which is actually what, as you can see here, um, Jupiter uses. Um, it's got way more options and it's much, much more feature rich. So I still keep with the Plank theme, uh, or the Dock uh, theme anyway, and um, use it as a main application launcher, but I just go for Docky because it's much more feature rich. Um, and Plank is very, very stripped down and basic. So I would hope they're not kind of taking that, you know, trend right now that says removing features is adding features, and they and they add some, um, app, you know, some more options here to Plank. That would be really nice. But all in all, I really, really enjoy um, Elementary OS Luna. It's um, very quick. <clears throat> just to give you guys a, an idea, I'll just start launching some uh, applications. Now, I mean, full disclosure, I am running a really beefy system. Um, You know, I'm running on a core i7, um, 8 core i7 CPU with 16 gigs of RAM. Um, So, you know, things are going to off, and also I'm running it off of an SSD. So things are going to open very quickly, but still, everything is just so smooth. Animations are beautiful. brilliantly done and implemented love how everything um in the in the desktop just flows so smoothly um it's it's a joy to use i think if they work out these last few bits and continue continue developing their core applications and also might i add they all are developing in a single programming language which is a, a gtk3 language called vala love the fact that they're using a single programming language again you know any given time you look at a a linux desktop you know you you're going to see many different programming languages being used um, and it makes things look very inconsistent the fact that they're unifying around a gtk3 programming language in vala um, i think is going to add again that consistency in the user experience that's going to make uh, elementary os luna look polished professional it's going to keep things consistent and I think at the end of the day, it's going to be something that could go on computers um, that you would find on the shelf at the store. So, you know, really enjoying it. Hope they continue to go in a, in a forward direction. Hope they do it a little bit quicker than they have been. Um, but I'm really enjoying this release. So that's my take so far on Elementary OS Luna. Um, hope you guys enjoy, and we'll talk to you guys later.